Right. Now, there are reports that a folding knife was found on a property that used to be owned by O.J. Simpson. O.J. Simpson, of course, was the ex-football star accused of murdering his ex-wife, Nicole Brown Simpson, and her friend slash presumed lover, Ronald Goldman, in 1994. Now, um, so the two of them, Nicole Brown Simpson and Ronald Goldman, were stabbed to death. So, this knife that they found on his property, the implication is that this knife may have been the murder weapon. So apparently this knife was found several years ago by a construction worker. This worker gave it to a LAPD cop who was in the area. And the cop then kept the knife as a piece of celebrity memorabilia instead of turning it over to the police department. The knife apparently came to light when the now retired cop who had it told a friend who was still working in the LAPD about the knife. The retired cop wanted his friend to get the departmental record number for the Nicole Brown and Ronald Goldman murder case. The retired cop was planning to frame the knife and wanted to engrave the departmental record number of the OJ case or the um, Nicole Brown and Ronald Goldman murder case on the frame. So he wanted to engrave that the, the case number on the frame of the knife. Now the friend of the retired cop who was still working for the LAPD was upset about this, about hearing that his friend had kept this knife. So he went and told his superiors in the police department. The superiors in the LAPD then went to the retired cop and told him to turn the knife over to them. So the retired cop gave the knife to the LAPD and um, now the knife is being tested for forensics or t tested by forensics for hair, fingerprints, and DNA. Now th this um, account of the story comes from TMZ, but it's also being, I guess it's been reported in a lot of the me other media outlets as well. So this knife, this, the discovery of this knife does not make much of a difference, and here's why. First of all, O.J. Simpson has already been acquitted of murder. So he went to trial for the Nicole Brown Simpson and, and um, Ronald Goldman murders, and he was acquitted. Um, so he can't be tried again because of the double jeopardy um, rules where you can't try somebody for murder twice. If somebody is tried for murder, they go to trial, they get acquitted, you can't try, you can't try to take them to court again for the same crime. Secondly, O.J. Simpson is already in prison for life for a 2008 robbery. He's never going to get released. He's... Uh, He's serving, I, I can't remember what, what sentence he got, but the sentence he has is basically assure, ensures that he'll never get released. He'll ne So he'll never get out of prison anyway, even if they could um, try him for murder again, there, there would be no point in doing so because he has no chance of, he's never coming out of prison. Third. Assuming that this knife really is the real murder weapon, which it may not be, it is unclear how much evidence will be left on it at this point. So this knife has it's been around, in, or it's been, um, it was dug up years ago, allegedly, according to the, what TMZ is saying, and it's passed through at least two hands. So the construction worker had it, then he gave it to the police officer, and then um, it may have been cleaned, so the police, the cop had this knife. He, who knows what he did with it? He may have cleaned it. He may have whatever he did with it. So even if they could try O.J. again for uh, the murder based on this knife, I suspect that a good lawyer would 
rip this evidence apart because you who knows where this knife has been who knows you know I mean they don't know where it's where it's really been and how much credibility that does this retired cop have and I don't know whatever so I, I just don't think that this this evidence would I think a good lawyer would would destroy it and would just rear, tear this evidence apart now as far as OJ Simpson goes he probably did kill Nicole Brown and and Ronald Goldman and the reason I say this is because most murders are carried out by partners, family members, friends, acquaintances, or associates, right? So if somebody gets murdered, it's usually, it usually turns out to be someone that they know. When women, in, in particular, when women get killed, the perpetrator is usually a husband, boyfriend, or ex. Because women are less likely to be killed by strangers than men. Because, see, men... Men, with men, it's more likely for men to... Men are actually... Well, overall, men are more likely to be victims of homicide. And uh, men are, men will get murdered, for example. They'll get in a bar fight and get killed. Or some guy will say a person's looking at him the wrong way. and Or someone, a man will kill another man for stepping on his shoes. You know, whatever. So, but women are less likely to be victims of stranger violence, and they're more likely to be victims of, of violence by partners, basically by men that they're in relationships with, or exes. And O.J. Simpson had an alleged history of domestic abuse. There's, uh, they released a 911 call that Nicole made, Nicole Brown Simpson made, um, back when she was with O.J. Simpson where she was saying he was beating her and so on. So if he had a history of domestic abuse that makes him an even more likely culprit because there's a correlation between uh, men who are domestically violent and ones who who murder their wives. <coughs> now as far as um, and O.J. Simpson he, will, he seems as if he was a scumbag his entire life. He seemed like a disingenuous, superficially charming, bullying asshole. But he was also a very talented athlete. And I will say at least that at least he did his own murders. At least he, he at least he was a hands on murderer, unlike somebody like Ray Carruth. So I have to give him some credit for that. Finally, O.J. Simpson, mo and, and so mo um, O.J. Simpson most likely got off, quote unquote, got off for the murders. You know, he he most likely killed the, committed the murders, and then beat the case through having good lawyers. But the system worked the way it was designed to, which is rich people can hire the most expensive and best lawyers to beat cases. And there are rich people you never heard of who beat cases just like O.J. Simpson did all the time because they have good um, money for good lawyers. So that, that affluenza kid, he's an example. He got a very light sentence for killing people in, well, while drunk driving. That's one example. Um, and there's a lot more examples that you never heard of. There was... Um, off the top of my head, there was um, a mur a guy, a millionaire guy who was recently arrested for, um, he was implicated in a bunch of murders. Um, I can't remember the guy's name, but he was, he, he beat a case, a murder case, and then he was recently just arrested, uh, or ch arrested again for, um, based on new evidence and um there was a uh, another millionaire a, te a guy in texas who was ri a rich guy in texas who was constantly being accused of raping boys he never got i don't think he ever got convicted he died but he, he was never convicted of anything before he died but he was constantly being sued for raping boy raping young males then there was a the son of a billionaire who was uh, 
involved who killed I think he shot his friend or something and he I think I'm pretty sure he got off as well so these rich rich people with good lawyers they beat cases all the time OJ Simpson is not really unique his case was just more high profile than a lot of the other ones and there's there's even more poor people who you never heard of who get screwed over and railroaded by the so-called justice system every single day because they don't have money for good lawyers they have their um, garbage they have uh, public defenders they have no money so they just plead out to get to charges even if they know they're they're um, even if they're innocent they plead out accept plea bargains um, plead guilty or they get convicted and every city jail in every major city every jail in every city is probably full of poor people who got screwed over by the system because they didn't have money for proper defense or to defend themselves so that's just way the, the way the system works <clears throat>